Welcome to the Liberty Podcast with Clint Armitage. We are proclaiming liberty one show at a time. And the next one starts right now. Hello, everybody. Clint Armitage with the Liberty Podcast. I apologize for the delay. Had some issues uh, getting it all up and running for today's podcast. So a little bit of a delay there today. Uh, Anyways, we are getting into kind of the Christmas season. And so we're going to be getting into Christmas topics. So we'll be talking about the topics here in a minute. First of all, I want to acknowledge you for coming by and listening. I want to thank you so much for listening faithfully to the podcast and continuing to, you know, be a part of this journey that we're going on here with God leading the way. Also, I wanted to um, also bring up uh, RadioCoffeeHouse.com. We are in partnership with RadioCoffeeHouse.com, which is a ministry that supports other ministries with um, providing coffee for outreach events and things like that. Things that uh, churches and other ministries do, we support them by, by providing coffee. And the coffee actually has a message, a scripture on the the coffee itself, but really we, we help provide. So if you need anything from Radio Coffee House, just email us at info at radiocoffeehouse.com and we'll see what we can do to help you out. All right. So now back to the podcast. We are getting into the Christmas spirit, right? And there's a lot of Christmas stuff happening. The season is you know, underway here now that Thanksgiving is over and we're moving on. Well, the thing that I want to talk about this podcast or this episode is finding Christmas cheer, because even though it's supposed to be, and it is, it's a awesome time. It's a jolly time, right? It's a time where we start to recognize, you know, others and we start to realize what we have. And then we also recognize the fact that Jesus died for us and he was born, you know, for the specific purpose to die for us. And so that's why we celebrate Christmas, the birth of our Savior. And I know it gets lost in some of the, um, you know, the commercialism and all that stuff. But even though, you know, commercialism can kind of hinder it if that's all you focus on, but really, you know, what we are here to celebrate is the Christmas spirit. And having Christmas cheer does not come easily to some, you know, some people struggle during this time. I know I struggle sometimes during this time of year because as a provider, as someone who supports my family, you know, financially, I feel under pressure to make sure that we have everything we need. And that's during the year, but also during Christmas where the the budget actually increases. And with everything that happened, you know, economically in the United States over the last couple of years, it's been, you know, difficult for a lot of people. So I want to talk about finding Finding Christmas cheer and what we can do and who can we who can we rely on when it comes to the Christmas time because we can get lost in a dark place because Christmas may not be a happy time for some people or it is no longer a happy time because maybe they're they don't no longer have a loved one to share it with so it can be a alone time it can be a lonely time for some and so I want to talk about finding Christmas cheer. And we're going to look at three different verses here. And in the Bible, we're going to look at uh, one from the Old Testament, then we're going to look at a couple from the New Testament. And they may not seem like Christmas verses. Well, one is technically a Christmas verse, and the other two are technically not Christmas verses. However, I wanted to bring light to these verses so that we can, how can we use them to connect to finding that Christmas cheer. Remember, the Christmas cheer is not about the gift giving necessarily. Now, it's behind that. It's the motivation behind the gift giving. And it's to understand that Christ gave to us when we didn't deserve it. He gave to us. And Father God gave Jesus to us. And Jesus gave himself to us. And if we can really grasp that and really understand what that means, to take it in and to really delve into it and go, okay, what does that mean that God gives himself to us and then he provides for us and he's with us? You know, these these verses we'll look at really kind of speak to those different themes and how God is with us and how he's fighting for us and how, you know, we've been talking about being strong and courageous. We've been talking about warriors. We've been talking about going from weakling to warrior. And now it's similar because there's times when Christmas is not 
as cheery as you know some people have it because sometimes the world is kind of dark and so we want to take a look at the focus of Christmas so that we can really really understand how to find cheer or Christmas cheer during this season okay so let's look at uh, a verse here in Deuteronomy 31 We'll look at a few verses, but I want to start out in Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, and we're going to read through verse 8, okay? Here goes. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous. For you must go with this people into the land that the Lord swore to their forefathers to give them, and you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Okay, so looking at those verses, remember, this is, this is actually before Moses died, before the Lord took Moses away. This is before Joshua was actually leading the, uh, the Israelites. Um, this is right before. And so Moses is, you know, charging Joshua with this leadership responsibility here. And he's telling him to be strong and courageous. The Lord is, is saying, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be terrified. And sometimes this time of the year can be terrifying, can be afraid, can be lonely. But in this case, Lord is, the Lord is talking to Joshua to strengthen him because he's going to be he's going to be into a big task. And we had talked about this a little bit before in a prior episode, but it's still fighting battles. This life is a struggle. During this season can be a struggle. So we have to understand that God goes with you. He's going to never leave you nor forsake you. That's what he says in that verse there, Deuteronomy 31.6. God goes with you. He will neither leave you nor forsake you. So you don't need to feel alone during this time. And then also in verse 8, it says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Again, another verse that really talks about um, how... God is with us, and then he's never going to leave us, and he's never going to forsake us. So we don't have to be afraid, we don't have to feel alone, and we don't have to be discouraged, whether it's a big task or a big battle that we're fighting mentally. Again, this could be a tough time for you, and, and, and sometimes it's a tough time for me too. And so I need to really cling on to Jesus' promise, God's promise, that he's going to never leave me, never forsake me, and be with me. And I don't have to be discouraged and I don't have to feel alone. All right. So that's Deuteronomy 31. So we're going to stop right there because I didn't want it to go too over our normal allotted time. So we're going to break it up into two parts and get into the other verses on the next episode. So until next time, stay safe, stay motivated and keep seeking liberty. for another episode of the Liberty Podcast with Clint Armitage. If you want to get in touch, email us at info at clintarmitage.com.